Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is also mentioned my name in the Old Testament. David, but David, David, no sense. There's no do sense you, here. Do you not understand that Muhammad was actually uh, prophesied in the Old Testament in the Hebrew Bible? Uh, and I want to put it on screen specifically. Uh -oh. Here we go. Specifically in the Song of Solomon. It's mentioned in the Song of Solomon, chapter number five, verse number 16. In Hebrew, I will say, it says, He's more sweet. He's altogether lovely. He's my beloved. He's my friend, O oh, daughters of Jerusalem. It says Muhammadim. Wow. <laughs> hey, let's let's start let's start start reading a little earlier, right there. Hey, no, 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 no. Go down, go down, go down. Just just go down a little more. Okay, start right there. Okay, start daughters of Jerusalem. The, the daughters of Jerusalem. What is your beloved? Mm -hmm. more yeah, they're than... asking. They're asking this woman, "What is your beloved more yeah. than another beloved? Oh, fairest among women." She's talking about Solomon's wife here. They're talking yeah. to Solomon's wife. Oh, fairest yeah. among women. What is your beloved more than another beloved that you so charge us? <laughs> and and she replies, "My beloved is white." And I say, Muhammad was white. We keep saying it, man. <laughs> Muhammad was a white dude, right? <laughs> Muhammad was a white. My <laughs> he's a white man with black slaves. <laughs> My beloved is white and ruddy, chief among 10,000. His head is like the finest gold. His locks are wavy and black as a raven. His eyes are like doves by the rivers of waters, washed with milk and fitly set. His cheeks are like a bed of spices, banks of scented herbs. His lips are lilies, dripping liquid myrrh. His hands are <laughs> rods of gold set with barrel. His body is carved ivory, because he's so white, inlaid with sapphires. His legs are pillars of marble, white marble, set on bases of fine gold. His countenance is like Lebanon, excellent as the cedars. His mouth is most sweet. Yes, he is altogether lovely. <laughs> this is my beloved. Oh, and by the way, I'm the bride of Solomon. Who am I talking about here? Ask any Muslim. Yeah, he's ta she's talking about Muhammad. So AP, keep in mind, this is Solomon's <laughs> wife, 900 plus BC. She's lusting. She's talking about how sexy Muhammad's body was, <laughs> even though Muhammad wasn't, wasn't born for more than 50, for 15 centuries, right? So keep in mind, this is, this is Solomon's bride having adulterous thoughts and some sort of vision seeing Muhammad, according to Muslims, according to Muslims. And, and the word, the word used here, altogether lovely, Mahmad, right? Uh, the word that they want to translate as Muhammad the same word is used of Ezekiel's wife because she's <laughs> she was altogether lovely to him. She was his she was his uh, she was his beloved. And so so uh, so Ezekiel's wife was also Muhammad. Yeah. Yeah. And so she, that she means was, that, she was that very Muhammad. Muhammad yeah. That Muhammad that means that Muhammad was a try time traveling either either transvestite or or he, or Muslims are saying that Ezekiel was in a in a homosexual relationship and Ezekiel was the woman in that relationship guys we're we're, we're not trying to be jerks here but when you say this this is talking about Muhammad I, I, have, I have to Muhammad. say I have to say personally uh I know this is a very romantic moment but I have to say that my wife is also very Muhammad <laughs> <laughs> See, AP is married to Muhammad. What is up with this, man? A prophet married a married to a prophet. Dear, dear, dear Muslims, dear Muslims who keep saying stuff like "My Muhammad was mentioned, Muhammad was prophesied in the Song of Solomon five fifteen or 16. Yeah. Guys, you have no idea what you're talking about. The, the, look, look at the chapter. Look at what this book is. Look at what this book is talking about. This is the most ridiculous claim that you could possibly make. This is what happens because they get their information from Zakir Naik and all these other guys <laughs> who just quote the verse, don't tell them anything that it's talking about. They just say, ah, the word there is Mahmadim. This, this must refer to Muhammad. They don't tell them that Mahmad, the word there, is used throughout the Old Testament. It's used in a bunch of places. It wouldn't make sense anywhere. Here you can get one verse where you can kind of make sense of it as long as you ignore the chapter and the book. And th this is Dawah, man. This is how Dawah is done. The original name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is there in the Old Testament, Song of Solomon, chapter number five, verse number 16. Hikko Muhammad Takim, Vikullu Muhammadim, Zaidudi Zairai Baina Jerusalem. 